Now, after marriage, what you see, those will start collapsing. So the finger pointing begins, and now you're seeing these other shades which you may or may not like. I mean, you can't really go change your mother or father. You know, uh, love marriage has to go through a rite or ritual of maturing because dating is very different from marriage. When you are dating your partner, there is no existential crisis. There is no burden of cooking and cleaning and household chores. Uh, so the everyday weight of issues of of living life has not impacted you, and you start seeing. that side of each other where people come out of their existential crisis from their respective homes they meet on a date they are in the bubble of let's do something the excitement the romance the to do and it's the rosy uh, picture that they've seen of each other so they see that dimension and they expect that from the relationship now after marriage what you see those will start collapsing the good times fade into the existential crisis uh the second thing is that marriage involves you're marrying the whole family right so you can't when when you're dating it's just about you and me but now marriage suddenly you have to think about okay the siblings and you have to think about the family and you have to think about the rituals and the pujas and all those things that you may not really believe in but you have to go along with and so that starts feeling burdensome and now it becomes your family and my family so the finger pointing begins like meri family to aise nahi hota tha why is it so important i don't believe in this why do i have to sit in that aarti why do i have to sit into that puja etc etc and you don't even realize that this is nothing to do with the partners if it's the culture and you know if the goal of the marriage is harmony then just go along with the culture it's no big deal also the idea of a boyfriend or a girlfriend is a very unidimensional one it's an experiential one whereas when you when the husband when the boyfriend becomes a husband you'll suddenly notice many other dimensions of him you'll see him in the presence of his mother and he's suddenly the son you see him in the presence of a sibling and he's suddenly the brother now these are things that you've not seen at such close quarters before because you always just met one dimension of him which was the boyfriend which was the romantic in him and now you're seeing these other shades Sad. which you may or may not like and that can create a dissonance oh my god has he changed and we actually end up in love marriages people will end up saying you've changed it's not that you've changed it's just that you weren't really exposed to other dimensions of the person and you know you may not even be familiar like you may know this boy very well and this or this girl very well and they may be very different in their ecosystems because they have now achieved in similar ways or they have common career goals they wear the same clothes they talk the same language but the families could be a far cry from this so we may have situations where uh, either of the partner is very progressive but the family is very orthodox and now you have to also engage with the family and how do you navigate that bridge between but i thought you know your family would understand this and the family does not understand this and he stuck or she stuck trying to bridge that gap of cultures of the 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 climate in the family or the ecosystem in the family and you can't really go change your mother or father right you just have to accept them and go along with it so I think this is why love marriages have to go through this transitional phase of uh, you know marriage is going to be very different and um, also when I'm dating I can always walk away from it I can block the guy and say I break up you can't really walk away from marriage in the same way it's for keeps so I can break up is not an option and that makes you feel very very stuck and vulnerable in many cases and this is the reason why I think love marriages uh need to work harder than arranged marriages because in an arranged marriages 
I think both partners go in with a little bit of a trepidation. They are a little more cautious. They are a little more careful. They are testing the waters. They know they don't know each other, and they are willing uh-huh. to adjust and adapt. Whereas in a love marriage, you think, "Oh, I know the other partner," and suddenly you realize, "I don't really know everything about him." 